week on the bench, I'm going to tie you up the sea bead coronament. What makes this fly so special is the sea bead we use to imitate the gills. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the hook, we're going to use a Mustad C53S size 10 to 12. We'll use some UTC 70 black thread to tie with, some fluorescent green liquid lace for the body, some fine red wire for the rib. For the bead, we're going to use a white C bead and some peacock curl for the thorax. What I've done is started the fly off by taking my C bead, a small C bead, moving it to the eyelet of the hook, and I've wrapped on my thread. Now I'm going to take some fluorescent green liquid lace and tie it in near the eyelet. And as I move it back, I'm going to pull on the liquid lace to stretch it out so my body stays thin. And we'll keep this off the back of the hook to make the body a little bit later. Now that I have the liquid lace hanging off the back, I'm going to take my red wire and tie it in right near the back of the hook. And then move my thread forward to the eyelet. And I'm going to make about six to seven wraps with my red wire to form some ribbing on the fly. And try to keep them as evenly spaced as possible. Now that I have the rib tied in, I'm going to take my green liquid lace and stretching it out a little bit, I'm going to just tie in between my red wire wraps. I don't want to go over my red wire, I just want to go and fill in the gap in between the spacings of the red wire. And as I get further up, I'm going to take a little less pressure off the liquid lace so it forms a little bit thicker body. And we'll wrap this right up to the sea bead. To finish the fly off, I've taken two strands of my peacock curl and I'm going to tie it in right near the eyelet. Then what I'm going to do is bring my thread down and wrap the peacock curl around the thread. This is going to give that peacock curl a, just a little bit of added support when I tie it in so it doesn't fall apart when you're fishing it. And then we'll just wrap this forward to form a thorax on the fly. And there you have it, the sea bead chronomid. Another one of our effective chronomid patterns and one of our favorites here at Sport Fishing on the Fly.